Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marion and I'm bringing you up to date today with another video about the Model Y and its frightening economics. There might have been already many videos about that, but I want to go with you in some detail here because I have some more numbers. So let's dive into today's video, guys. And if you like my channel, do consider subscribing and supporting me. And we will look into firstly at the margins of the Model Y and the Model 3. So um, currently we are sitting at margins for the Model Y in China of 30%. It might have gone a bit down to 25% as we have see seen um, decreased prices over the time. Furthermore, the Model Y at the beginning had a margin of around 40% when it came to the Model 3 made in China. And it might have been around 25 to 30% right now as we have seen decreased prices. Always consider that those models out there right now, they don't have the new batteries. They don't have the in-house batteries Tesla is currently ramping up in the world. And they don't have the new technology like the revolution in battery. battery. So the casting we have seen here at Giga Berlin and Giga Austin that will be implemented now into the new Model Y will have 10% mass reduction, 14% range increase opportunity and 370 fewer parts. So this is the key here guys as we are looking at Giga Austin these two new factories not only Austin but as well Giga Berlin will change everything when it comes to the Model Y and this is the reason why Tesla is um, having the priority to go with the Model Y in Austin first and then as well in Giga Berlin and not with the Model 3 because there's so much money to be made if you have higher energy density when you have 16% more range when you have more power and I think many people still don't realize out there what enormous potential is there and we have been talking in the past month many times about a potential catching of Tesla, other car companies coming and catching Tesla and will um, lead the EV market at some point. Well, if these batteries that Tesla is working right now are really going into mass production and I'm talking here about Model Y, Model Y, Model Y and you can't hear it anymore but Model Y as well and this is gonna hit the road very soon latest in October end of the year we will see the new batteries coming into the Model Y in Giga Berlin and in Giga Austin and that's the point when everything is going to change when Tesla is going 10 steps ahead again and even though maybe some other car makers out there had the chance to come closer Tesla is always improving and this is going to make the Model Y even more profitable and not talking about 25% or 30%. It's not about the margins here guys. It is making such a great product here possibly much cheaper than anybody out there because they are able to decrease prices when they ever like to do so because they make so much money. And it's not only about the range increase. It's less cost that you have per kilowatt hour. And of course the investment per gigawatt hour will be reduced as well because Tesla is using less space to produce many many more batteries. And the strategy to build battery factories at the same site where they build the cars is the right strategy to go like in Austin, like in Berlin. This is the reason why they will be even more successful here. And ever wondered why Giga Nevada never um, continued to grow? They are not building less batteries. There is no stagnation in Giga Nevada. No, they are just working more efficient. They don't need as much space as they might have planned in the past when they built the building. That's why Giga Nevada is not continuing to grow because they're able to be there with less investment, less space. They are able to produce more batteries and that is the reason why the overall cost reduction will happen much faster and we will see that by the end of the year starting but I do expect more margins better gross margins by 2022 for the entire year because Tesla is then going close to mass production for the Giga Berlin 
factory and the Giga Austin factory. And just imagine how much money that would mean for a Cybertruck, just to put that in perspective as well here. So the Model Y here will be at some point the best selling car in the world, as Elon has said before. And they will also achieve that because Tesla can reduce the prices on the Model Y at some point when the new batteries are in mass production and are implemented inside these cars. So if you consider that you have such great margins and they are not including any kind of FSD sale that they are still doing, this is just gonna be insane. And we do know that the cost in China with the examples I mentioned to you at the beginning of the video, they are of course the greatest you can have because they're able to um, build much cheaper cars here in China than in the United States or in Germany. But again, if you have the cost reduction and the efficiency happening in these new factories, this will decrease any kind of price um, you are out having out there if they have at any point less demand. As long as they have enough demand, they won't have any issues to keep the prices where they are right now. People will still buy those cars because they're having much more range because that is the key for success. Range guys. People will buy the car that has the most range and has the less um, frightening truth about uh, getting to a supercharger or getting to a charger. The, the fear of missing um, a charger or not having enough range that will be gone because Tesla is achieving with those new batteries, they will achieve less weight. As I mentioned, they will have less costs in the car and more range. So the range has always been the key here, but once Tesla achieves that with the new batteries, um, it will blow all of the competition's mind because they might have thought that they got a bit closer to Tesla, but at that point Tesla is going 10 steps ahead because those new batteries will change everything. And currently we are at a point when we might think, well, Giga Berlin is not going as fast as everyone is wanting to, um, to happen. Um, maybe people think, well, there's so much to criticize currently about Tesla. Wait and calm down because we do see here at Giga Berlin, the roof is finally done. We do see that they have now the time, the pressure is there, but they have the time to establish perfect production lines that will be uh, much cheaper, that they could produce much cheaper the cars. So I'm really confident here, guys, that the Model Y, and that's the reason why they will start with the Model Y here, will just establish itself so fast in the European market as it did in China. So if you did enjoy my video, guys, if you do like what I'm doing here, do consider subscribing to my channel. And of course, I hope to see you very soon back here. And I wish you all a wonderful day. Take care, guys.